And now, it's time for Southern California's Sports Fishing Voice. Let's talk hook up. For the next two hours, join Pete Gray, Rock Cod Rick Maxa, Corey Sandin, and this week's special expert guest for fishing information, new techniques to catch more fish, and the most current scoop on what's happening in the water. Let's Talk Hookup is sponsored in part by Yamaha Outboards. Reliability starts here. By Ford, the official truck of Let's Talk Hookup. And Shimano Rods and Reels. Fish with the best. Shimano. Get ready for the fastest two hours on radio with the hosts of Let's Talk Hookup. Pete Gray, Rock Cod, Rick Maxa, and Corey Sandin. Good morning, anglers, and welcome to Let's Talk Hook Up. I'm Pete Gray with Rock Cod, Rick Maxa. We're in the mighty 1090 studios with Rosie and Jeff Flowers from Cedro Sport Fishing. We're going to be talking about some great fishing here at Cedros Island and more. You stay tuned. Southern California Sport Fishing Voices. Let's Talk Hook Up on the mighty 1090. A few years ago, Shimano introduced the Tranx 500 reel, and it changed the way we cast for big fish. Now, by popular demand, Shimano has created two new sizes, introducing the Tranx 300 and 400, available now at your local Shimano dealer. Tranx is the dream reel for throwing big baits and catching big fish. X-Ship and HEG technologies combine to provide massive cranking power with a smooth, effortless retrieve. Plus, Shimano's new Core Protect water-resistant technology provides long-lasting durability in the harshest environment. The new Tranx 300 and 400 are available in two gear ratios and two different handle designs to cover all fresh and saltwater applications. See the new Tranx 300 and 400 at your local Shimano dealer. Tranx, it's not just a new reel, it's a way to fish. Check Shimano.com for all the details. One of the dream trips for most anglers is Alaska. There are so many lodges, how do you make a choice? It's easy. Choose the one most Let's Talk Hook Up listeners return to time after time. Kingfisher Charters in Sitka, Alaska. No one does it better than Kingfisher Charters. They offer the best service, the most comfortable accommodations, fantastic food, and the finest charter captains in Sitka. All for the ultimate value. One visit and you will understand why nobody beats Kingfisher Charters. Sitka is famous for some of the best runs of salmon in Alaska. And if giant Alaskan halibut is your target, the expert captains at Kingfisher Charters know the hot spots and can put you on a fish of a lifetime. Plenty of rockfish and huge lingcod are there, too. And when it comes to fish processing, the best in Alaska is Kingfisher Charters. It's all included in your package. In fact, everything is included except tips. It is truly amazing how the Kingfisher crew continues the quality of service they deliver year after year. Kingfisher Charters, 800-727-6136. Or check kingfishercharters.com. Quality is the name of the game at Seaforth Sport Fishing in Mission Bay. Free parking and fully stocked tackle shop, plus a great fleet. It's no wonder Seaforth Sport Fishing is a favorite among anglers. Come aboard top boats like the Aztec, Cortez, Endeavor, Apollo, Outer Limits, El Gato Dos, Pride, Tribute, Tomahawk, Prowler, Pacific Voyager, and the Voyager. Plus, the new Seaforth, Sea Watch, and San Diego offer the finest half and full day trips available. Seaforth Sport Fishing. For charters or regular open party schedule, check SeaforthLanding.com. Run by fishermen for fishermen in Michigan Bay. We all need to get around, but we all need something different from our vehicles. Your San Diego County Ford dealers have you covered if you're looking for a new truck this month. Plus, it's SUV season, so they have great deals for everyone. Whether it's a new Echo Sport that is nimble and fun around town, or the Ford Explorer that is capable of putting a boat in the water and has seating for seven, Ford has you covered. Ford trucks and SUVs aren't just powerful and legendary. They have the latest technology that helps you seamlessly connect your smartphone and ensure you're safe on the road. Features like Pro Trailer Backup Assist on trucks are truly a game changer at the ramp, helping you back up a trailer by simply turning a knob on the dash and doing the hard work for you. So check out all the great deals during SUV season and save some money on the right gear for you. Learn more at buyfordnow.com or visit your San Diego County Ford dealers today. They'll be glad to hook you up. Hookup! Welcome back to Let's Talk Hook Up on the Mighty 1090. Today's a good day. I get to talk about one of my most favorite places to go fishing in the world all day yeah, today. It's amazing how easy it's become and how Cedro Sport Fishing has made it a, a no-brainer to go down there. Right, Rosie? Absolutely. I like to say we stupid proof it. Yeah, it's stupid proof it, right? Exactly. That, that's right. great. We, is that one working there, Adam? No? Okay, well, you're going to have to 
We've got switch we over, have, Jeff. We have mic issues. You have to share. Oh, you we and have Jeff. My, I have to share with my husband. Yes, <laughs> oh, you my do. Gosh. Yes, you do. So, <coughs> so Sandro Sport Fishing. Tell us for those of our listeners that aren't familiar with what that fabulous place is. Yeah. Well, my gosh, we are the Yellowtail and Calico Bass capital of the world. So we're about 310 miles south of San Diego, beautiful island in the Pacific. Uh, our lodge is on the leeward side of the island. It's just beautiful over there. We have a beautiful lodge. We take on 12 anglers at a time. Uh, we have super pongas, 27 feet or more, uh, usually three anglers per ponga. Get you out on the water all day, every day, and uh, have a good time down there. Yeah, it's, oh, it's just so great. Such a good crew and people and accommodations. It's just awesome. Yeah, yeah. it's the proverbial mi casa su casa. You know, you come into our lodge and our crew, they are your family, and you are theirs, and they yeah. really take care and, of you. And that's the truth. The, the, um, you know, uh, I was talking to a friend uh, who, uh, for their traditional Mexican uh, Christmas, they, she was talking about, Pozole. Oh, pozole. And the pozole, the you best. know, you know you're in a, a real home cook environment in, in Mexico when they make incredible pozole. And Sedro Sport Fishing makes incredible pozole. They do. It's so funny. We were down there last year. I think it was our trip that we were on. And uh, Letty made pozole. And I was like, I ate a lot of mine, but I was like saving that broth because I knew we were having machaca for dinner and I wanted to yeah. pour some of that broth over. <laughs> well, they came by to take my broth. It's like, oh, I slapped their head. Yeah. No, don't take that away. That's so good. So good. Yeah, that's and, so good. And, and that's the thing is that everything from pesole to traditional Mexican dishes all the way to the big steaks. Oh, uh, the last the, night. The food, oh, right? It's yes. so good. Yeah. And, yeah. Then, uh, and then you talk about the fishing, right? Yeah, yeah, then throw in the fishing yeah. on top of that. Right. Exactly. Just exactly. This. So, Sandro Sport Fishing differs from other places in that you guys charter your own plane. You know, we are so blessed to now have our own chartered aircraft. It's just ours. It's just our group on it. Yeah. We fly direct through the CBX, which is just amazing. Such a game changer. It, it was. It was the, the total game changer. I mean, we went from the first year that I came on to the lodge not even being half full to now I could, I could fill it above and beyond just because everyone was saying, get that aircraft, get that aircraft direct flight. We don't want to drive down to Ensenada anymore and not wonder for the first flight, the second flight, or be you know delayed in any way. So now we have made our own schedule. Uh, the airline, um, we are their top priority, which is fabulous. Um, there's certain things that I ask for that they're like, absolutely, you know, we, we, they want to accommodate us. We get through the CBX very well. We have a concierge service through the Tijuana International Airport. And, I mean, you've heard me say before, I hold your hand on this side of the border, and we have a wonderful crew down in the Tijuana Airport that they hold your hand on that side of the border. And, you know, we have very experienced pilots. You know, they've been with ASG for numerous years. They know right where they're going, what they're doing, and how that aircraft works. And it's just it's easy. You know, we've gotten rid of, um, uh, since it's our own chartered aircraft, we've gotten rid of all those extra um, charges for overweight fees, the extra charges for rods. Um, it's all that. Like, it's go. all easy. Yeah. yeah. And that Cessna Caravan that they fly is one of the safest aircrafts around. Absolutely. It's amazing, amazing Absolutely. aircraft. You know, uh, we just posted on our YouTube channel uh, a video that uh, Mr. Tommy, Tommy P, P did, uh, yes. did um, uh, from last year's trip, Let's yes. Talk Hookup trip, and it shows that there was fog on the normal approach over the ocean. So they, the pilots are so experienced, and they know that airport so well, they just turn around and come in the other way. They came in the other way, and that was actually Leon, the uh, pilot Leon, and yeah. there was a little bit of fog, and he found the right uh, spot and just yeah. uh, went in and... For the landing, and so uh, yeah, it's pretty, pretty cool. It, it's a pretty exciting landing. Uh, either anyway, way you either way exactly. you come. Yeah. But you know, the little town of Cedros, tell us about that, because it is, that's one of the things. The sport fishing is incredible. Yellowtail, calico bass, halibut, sea bass, but, and, and the, the boat fleet that you have. But the town of Cedros is so cool. You know what? It is so cool, and it's just right down there, you know, perched on the water, goes up the valley a little bit, 
and just great people yeah. down there very too. Friendly, very friendly people. Um, you know, lots of little small businesses, and uh, you know, most of the people in town they either work in the sport fishing industry, they have, or they have their own businesses. Or they work down at the Salt or um, the Lobster and Abalone Co-op is where a lot of those guys work. Which I, Have you guys ever toured the Lobster and Abalone Co-op? I have not. I've toured the Salt plant, but not the Lobster Abalone. You know, next time you guys are down there, you know, let's make sure that we set up with uh, Richard and Weechu for you guys to check that out. It's actually pretty cool. I'll bet. It is pretty cool. So, so yeah, but the, but the town, you know, those guys are very resourceful in so many ways. It uh, makes me look back at what, at what I have here in San Diego and, um, you know, how they do so much with so little. Yeah. You know, you guys, you just cannot go down to the, the Home Depot. Yeah, and yeah, you can't right. just go down to the post office or the bank. You know, it's what they have. Everything works well for them. And, uh and just good people. Yeah. Good very, people. Very, people very safe. Proud, and they're very proud very of their safe. island. Like, yeah. I really like yeah. it. It's yeah. a cool atmosphere. It's, it's you know, it's like, uh, like like old school Baja. You know, they're just totally. very friendly people and rad food and the roads are cobblestone. It's just, it's a cool environment down yeah. there. I really dig it. And everybody knows everybody, yeah. of course. Yeah. You know. Mm-hmm. It's clean. Yeah, yeah, and you're very welcomed down there. You know, there's some areas that you travel to where that's just not the case. You're the outsider, and there it's like, oh, man, come on, come check out our island. This exactly. is a great place, you know. Yeah. Oh, you're in a fishing? No, you're, you're one of us. Come on in. It's exactly. really cool. It yeah. is nice. Jeff, what's your take down there? You have you go down there and host a lot of trips. What's your uh, what's your favorite part about Sedro Sport Fishing? From the morning I wake up until I get home on the last day, it's all it's all good. <laughs> it's, all good. <laughs> it's all good. You know, the the big thing is is when people originally think about going down and having to go through the Tijuana airport, um, you're going into a foreign country and you feel somewhat out of place. But it's so easy how Rosie set it up with not only getting you through the airport entrance, but when you get picked up by the concierge, that you are comfortable and relaxed the entire way all the way to the plane you getting on the plane looking at the plane you know inspecting it i guess you know because everybody wants to know what they're flying uh the flight over once in a while there's some refreshments uh that we bring <laughs> on our own makes it a happy flight and then uh you know the the real fun starts when the wheels hit the ground yeah, yeah. it's just it's amazing how how inviting it is like you said it's clean uh they're proud of their island and um, some of the friendliest people in the world. No doubt about it. And and as soon as you touch the ground, the, the Sedro Sport Fishing staff is there to greet you on the tarmac, hand you a beer or a soda, a water, and start having your vacation. Yeah, you right can't then lift there. You can't lift your own bags off no. the ground. I mean, not by rule, <laughs> yeah. but because somebody else has beat you to it and grabbed it, and you know, it's just it's cool. I'm not the kind of guy to sit back and let somebody else do what I can do. Right. Um, but when I got off the plane the first time and I grabbed my bag and somebody grabbed my arm and said, no, go stand over there. We'll take care of it. Yeah. Um, I felt like, uh, you know, uh, I was royalty. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, you know, the crew, I mean, they're very proud of yeah. what they do. Right. This is their job. And, you know, they're they're almost, I don't want to say insulted if you if you try to do their job for them. Because they just love doing their yeah. job so much. They're proud to have work. They have good work. You know, and they love to do it, and they love to take care of people. Every single one of them is a people person. That's cool. And now, that's let's talk cool. about the boats at, uh, at yeah. Sport because you guys have the best boat fleet. We do, and you know what? We have the best captains. Yes. That, that's another thing that very much separates you guys from other places that do a similar thing is the fleet of boats and the people that you have operating them. Oh, absolutely. Lalo and Javier are absolutely epic. They keep the boats top-notch. Um, they they are with me constantly every week. If there is something that is needed for one of the pongas, you know, West Marine loves us. You know, we go down there. <laughs> we got new new bait pumps constantly. We all we have a, a backup bait pump on every ponga, um, just in case because you never know. And um, but those guys, no, they they keep those boats in top notch condition, um, and. You know, they know their way around that island like the back of their hand. And when we had a few customers last year on different trips come back and say, you know, they were talking about the captains and how, you know, one captain was trying to get into one certain spot 
And, you know, he kept on not only looking at his instruments, but just like we did when we were on the, um, you know, when we were teenagers on the uh, half-day boats where you have certain spots up in the hills to kind of position your boat just right. Well, you know, the one Ponca captain was positioning his boat and kept on looking overboard and looking overboard and looking up in the hills, and all of a sudden he says, okay, here. And a couple of the guys looked over, and down a little bit deeper there was this white little buoy down there. That was a marker, okay. huh. and he backed right up on that marker, and they said they just had epic calico bass fishing for about two hours. That's wow. so cool. They, they said they, finally they went offshore and, and you know got some tuna and some other stuff, but they said the calico bass was, and they go, he went right on that marker. That's he cool. He knew right where it was. That's cool. So, and then, you know, one thing I love, you know, about the guys, and, you know, it was like we, we usually fish with, with Javier because we take the bigger boat because we usually have four people on our boat. But, you know, Javier is constantly on the lookout, you know, not only looking at, at what you're doing, what each angler on the boat is needs at any certain moment, but you constantly see him looking off for birds working or something co- coming no, through. I fish with Javier. He's, and he's amazing. He's on it. He's a good fisher. He's on it. Yeah. Right, Same with Martin yep. and, and, and Lalo. Lalo. And then Chevo, my gosh, I think Chevo knows that island and every spot like the back of his well, a lot of those guys grew up there yeah they did yeah that's right that's what's so cool that's right so uh we talked about the boats we talked about the flight we talked about the food let's talk about the accommodations because that's pretty yeah you nailed too. it you know what i i look at what adrian has done over the past 11 12 years your partner adrian our and partner who adrian. started it all he yeah he and tom just did an absolutely epic job in constantly building up building on and making it just beautiful. And, you know, we have six rooms. Um, four of the rooms have their own bathroom attached to it. And then there's the casita. And we love to put families in there. There's two bedrooms in there with like a little, I don't want to say a bar area, but it is a bar area and like a, a family room like area. A family room, yeah. yeah. And then they, they have their own restroom in there. So, you know, every space. Um, and I, I don't mean to, to, to diss on the long-range fleet because they're on a boat and we're on land. But, you know, the, the rooms are a little bit big, uh, well, a lot bigger than what uh, a bunk would be on a boat. Um, but there's still, it's all you need. There's two beds in there, your nightstand, you know, your bathroom area, and everything is cleaned. Your, um, your rooms are, um, uh, housekeeping comes in every day cleans your rooms, cleans your restroom. You have fresh towels every day. You don't need to bring, you know, towels or shampoo or body soap down. That is all provided down there. Makes it easier. They do your laundry? They do your laundry. We have Floor, who is absolutely epic. And, you know, she will take your laundry in the morning. You just have to put it in a bag on the end of your bed. And in the afternoon when you come back, it's uh, nice and uh, clean and folded and ready to go for the next day, which helps you not have to take as much down there. You know, our goal is always get you guys back with some fish. And if you bring a lot of tackle down there, which you don't need, you only need a little bit of tackle. If you bring a lot of clothes down there, we try to get you to bring the minimum so you can bring the maximum back in fish weight. There you go. Well, as you can hear, we have a great show lined up for today. A lot to talk about today. You're not kidding, man. And so much great stuff to cover and talk about having the perfect pair in here with Rosie and Jeff about Sagero Sport Fishing and all the great stuff that goes along with it. going to be lots of fun, and we want to hear from you this morning. Not only are you going to get a chance to talk to Rosie and Jeff, you're also going to get a shot at winning a great prize today at the end of the show today, and that includes a brand-new AFCO Horizon Fleece Jacket it, which is the most perfect garment for this time every day. of year. It is awesome. It's a it's a fleece that is still completely waterproof and water resistant, and it's Inproof. and it's very very good looking. It's a really really nice looking fleece. Thanks to our good friends at AFCO. And then along with that, you're also going to get a brand new Cedro Sport Fishing hat and shirt to go along with it. So the full ensemble today. And Rosie, thanks so much for that. The yeah, little, no worries. Little Cedro's gear, little AFCO jacket, a great opportunity. So. If you want to get your shot at winning that great clothing package, or better yet, your chance to talk to Rosie and Jeff, there's two ways you can do that. And first is with our local line, which is 858 area code 457 1090. Again, 858 457 1090. That's our local number. Or get us toll free. The toll free one is 877 792 1090. One more time, 877 792 1090. When we come back, we're going to be taking those phone calls. So much great 
great information coming your way. You stay tuned. You're listening to Southern California's Sport Fishing Voice. It's Let's Talk Hook Up on the Mighty 1090. Here's John Ireland for Rancho Leonero. Rancho Leonero was awarded the Certificate of Excellence from TripAdvisor for four straight years. Especially interesting, most hotels are just hotels, and most people stay in the hotel and go do their activities elsewhere. Rancho Leonero, of course, provides fishing, diving, all activities, all meals, your whole vacation. So the fact that we're so highly rated, we're very proud of it. From picking you up at the airport to dropping you off, literally everything is a turnkey from there. We make it as easy as we can for you at the ranch. From your meals to whether you're going to go fishing or diving or just hang out by the pool. When you're coming to Rancho Lanero, you are coming to John Ireland's home. I guarantee the best fishing vacation experience in all of Baja. It's unique. There's nowhere that I could think of to get the same experience that you get at Rancho Lanero. Our new reservation phone number is 800-646-2252, 646-Baja, and RanchoLanero.com. It's really unique. It is. We're very proud of it. This is Greg Stotesbury from AFCO. For more than 58 years, the American Fishing Tackle Company has been recognized as the premier manufacturer of precision-built offshore fishing tackle. AFCO continues this tradition today with an innovative technical fishing clothing line designed and built by fishermen for fishermen. From our next-generation waterproof shorts like Tactical or Stealth to our new anhydrous waterproof jacket and bibs, the entire AFCO clothing line is purpose-built with the latest AFTEC fabrics and features designed to deliver for the demanding angler. To find AFCO products, go to AFCO.com. And find a dealer near you. When it comes to Southern California sport fishing, two names stand out Fisherman's Landing Tackle and Shimano. Hi, this is Doug Kern. No one makes more lures that get bit by more fish than Shimano. Colt Sniper Jigs, Colt Sniper Jerk Baits, Pop Orca, Butterfly, and the amazing Shimano Flatfall Jig. Our professional saltwater experts at Fisherman's Landing Tackle will help you choose the right Shimano jig for your next trip. When it comes to Shimano jigs, you owe it to yourself to visit us at Fisherman's Landing Tackle at Fisherman's Landing in San Diego or on the web at saltwatertackle.com. Hey, it's coming up this Thursday. It's the Los Angeles Boat Foot Show at the Fairplex in Pomona, convenient from all points of Southern California. It's January 10th through the 13th. That's coming up next week. Yeah, indeed. And you see the newest models, the latest marine gear, tech gadgets, accessories, anything and everything a boater needs. You're going to find a wide range of new products and services that make owning and operating a boat more enjoyable. Thursday, noon to 8, Friday and Saturday, 10 to 8, and Sunday, 10 to 6. Admission's just $15. Kids 12 and under are free, and there's discounts available for active U.S. military. Yeah, we've got boat with your name on it. That's the Los Angeles Boat Show this Thursday, January 10th through Sunday, January 13th at the Fairplex in Pomona. For more information and to purchase your tickets, visit LosAngelesBoatShow.com. Yamaha Outboard's Say Yes to Reliability sales event is here. For a limited time, purchase an eligible new 2.5 to 115 horsepower four-stroke and get five years of warranty protection plus up to $500 in dealer credit. New 150 to 300 horsepower four-strokes get six years of warranty protection. Yamaha, reliability starts here. Visit your local Yamaha dealer today. Offer ends March 31st, 2019, subject to change at any time. Other restrictions and conditions apply. See authorized participating Yamaha outboard dealers for details. This promotion cannot be used with any other Yamaha offer. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup on the Mighty 1090. All right, phones are packed. They want to talk to you, Rosie and Jeff. I see. All right. People are excited to talk Cedro Sport Fishing. Yeah, Absolutely indeed. every single phone line packed up. But keep trying. There's going to be plenty of shots to get you in. It's going to be a fun day today. We're going to start this morning off with Don, who's calling us from Woodland Hills this morning. Hi, Don. Welcome to Let's Talk Hookup, and thanks for getting us started. Hey, good morning, everybody, and Happy New Year, Rosie and Jeff. It's good speaking with you all. Oh, Happy New Year, Don. Thank you. Well, you know, I don't know how much I can say about Cedro Sport Fishing other than I'm on your website right now, and it looks like you're really booked up. <laughs> we it's, are, but we do have uh, we do have some availabilities, and I'll explain that a little bit later. But go ahead. I'm sorry, Don. Go. No, the, the the things that that I wanted to say is first of all, you guys run a first class operation, Thank and it, it really is an old world Baja fishing experience, and it's 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 simple, it's fun, it's beautiful. The people are are fantastic. The accommodations are great. 
Um, you know, there's there's a lot of things that I'm sure you'll cover with other folks today, but I think the 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 big ones for me is number one, the first class service from from you and Jeff and everybody at the island. Uh, getting through CBX and flying down there was was so simple and so easy. Um, I had a little bit of concern just because it was different. And you know, I think Rick said it. You're flying into into Mexico. It's an international you know transfer, but it was so easy. And I, I just had a great time down there last year, and I thank you very much. Yeah, you're welcome, and we loved having you down there. And, you know, it's like I, I get exactly what you're saying, where it's like I want to say it's the fear of the unknown. Totally. You don't know, mm-hmm. and you don't know what you don't know. And, uh, you know, so it's a little bit of anxiety going, well, what kind of plane am I going on? And now I'm going across into the Tijuana uh, airport. Am I going to get to the place where I need to be in and find the right spots? And, uh, like I said, we've taken – all of that into our own hands, and uh, our crew down at the Tijuana Airport, you never had to worry where you were at because Michelle or Hugo or somebody, they were they were with you the whole time. They never leave you. They get you on, we have a, our own little aero tram car that picks you up and takes you right to the plane. You and were saying a concierge at the Tijuana Airport. Yeah. That's pretty amazing. Yeah, oh, That's yes. your people down there that basically walk you through. Not that T1 Airport's complicated, because it's not. It's a, it's it's a, a great airport. Nav- it's yeah. a very easy, great airport. The whole CBS experience is very, very simple. But just that added little help for people that maybe have never done it before. Exactly. It's certainly a nice touch. Absolutely. And, and, you know, it's like we don't want anyone to have to, you know, wonder, am I going to make it through? Yeah. And it's like, so like I said, we've just taken that all into our own hands and just grab everybody, right, you know, out of customs. And we have our own little um, area where with our own conveyor belt, our own kiosk, uh, everything gets checked in. It gets put right down into our own van, which goes to our own aircraft. You don't have to stand in the big, long Volaris lines or nope. anything like yeah. that? Nope, nothing <laughs> like that. <laughs> no. Uh, you know, we have our own, uh, you know, TSA type of check and... Uh, you know, it's just it's, we you're just, like on a first class rail wow. the whole way through. Yeah. It's just you're you know you're you get to do it. You get to participate at a slightly different level than everybody else that's yeah. there. Like you're you're custom walked through every bit of the process. And you're right. There's just nothing left to wonder. Nothing left to chance. Where do I go? What gate am I at? It's just yeah. you're just you're you're immediately on vacation. We had a customer last year. He goes, you know, I have flown all over the world, fished in many different places around the world. And he goes, you're by far was the easiest and the most, you know, no no, no worries. Yeah. Just no worries. And I was like, that was like the ultimate compliment. Yeah. Well, thanks, Don. Appreciate yeah, thank that you, Don. for getting us started. Let's uh, address the availability at Cedros because you were saying that uh, it's time for charter masters to put up or shut up. Put up or shut up. <laughs> so exactly, exactly that. That's so, funny. you know, if you look on the website right now, every triple say call. And please do call, okay, because I do have some openings. We're going through a little bit of changes right now. But we also, um, we've given our charter masters until January 20th, January 20th. A couple weeks from now. A couple weeks from now to get their um, deposits. deposits in. And if those deposits aren't in, guess what, on the 21st? Those spots are going to be opened up. Yeah. Those spots will be opened up. All and right, there are so spots all throughout. Yeah. So let's say, okay, 12 people, It's it, let's say you want to put a group of 12 together and you want to be a charter master and say, I want you to reserve all 12 spots for me. What's entailed of that? What do you have to do on January 20th? Do you have to deposit each one of those spots, even if it's sold or not? You know, those spots, if, if the charter master wants to hold that spot, if he says, you know, I really have some some guys that are going, well, charter master can put down that five hundred dollars on that spot to hold well, it for his that's friend. That's it, just five hundred dollars. Five hundred bucks per person. Per person, okay. Yeah. Yep, to hold that spot. So, and you know, we we've got you know charter masters that all the best intentions in the world. Of course. To to get to hold their Absolutely. spots, and people are like, oh yeah, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. But when it comes time to put the money down, they're like, well, you know, this happened, this happened, that happened, or you know. My my daughter is graduating from college in June, and I have to go back. For, so, you know, things open up. Yeah. So, um, you That's know. why you always encourage trip insurance. Oh, boy, do we. Yeah. Oh, howdy. And that that's, that's a whole. You're booking so far in advance. Absolutely. You know, you just never know what's going to happen, and we cannot recommend trip insurance enough. John you, talked about that yesterday, and it's. 
you know, for us, it's a fishing trip and a vacation, but this is a business, you know, and you can't run a business based on holding a spot until the end and then letting it go because it just doesn't work that way. It doesn't, it doesn't give, work that way. It doesn't give you the opportunity to sell it and recoup those funds. And if enough trips go with enough people and you have the best of intentions that you just didn't collect any funds from, there's no more, there's no more, there's no more trip. Exactly. Right. Right. Exactly. And you know what? We all love fishing, but, you know, Cedro Sport Fishing is in business to be in business. Sure. So, so yeah. So. And, and whether, I mean, we talked about it with, in, in, in lieu of long range trips. I yeah. Mean, if I you're mean. on a long range trip, a lot of times you have to book a year in advance. How do you know what's going to happen? You don't know what's going to happen. Gonna happen. Gonna happen. Buy exactly. the trip insurance. You know, we had a gentleman this year that ended up with a, a knee infection. Couldn't go on the trip. Yeah. You know, so it's just anything. You, you guys, any trip, whether it be, you know, Sedro Sport Fishing, Long Range, or even your personal trips with your family. We went on a cruise last year. The whole entire family went on the cruise. I bought trip insurance. Yeah. You know? And Bob Dawson does a fabulous yep. job. Bob he has all work. kinds of different programs that you can purchase, even annual right. programs. Annual. I'm on an annual program. With right. Bob. Yeah. And, and he, he's, that's his deal is trip insurance. Yeah. And he's a sport fisherman. He's a hunter, a sport fisherman, so he knows he knows the product. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. And absolutely. All, all kinds of things from just covering your tr- – like, because you don't know what's going to happen, and it's not just you. You know, something something happens with the family or something happens with your best friend, and there's, there's things that come up. But they do everything. They'll do, you know, evac insurance and all kinds of things. You get right. hurt and you want to get out of there right now. Like you, and it's so inexpensive. It's so inexpensive because it's often not used, so that keeps the price way down. And it is a crazy small investment covering a multi-thousand dollar trip that you're going on. Absolutely. You know, last year, um, you know, we did have, we had a couple hurricanes. And, you know, we um, decided it was best. Well, one, we did, we had to cancel the trip because the hurricane yeah. was coming through. Center punched you. Center yeah. punched us. But, and the thing is, is that, you know, we, in the past... You know, I was talking with Adrian. I was like, this hasn't happened in the past. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, this was. And here it is the last couple of years. It's happened twice. Twice. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Are things changing? So. <laughs> Boy. Yeah. yeah, there's Wahoo now. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we love those guys. Yeah. But, you know, it's like, you know, we took the high road and we're like, you know, we did not keep anyone's deposits. Um, for the most part, we found trips for people or we they we moved them to this year. Or um, we only refunded four trips, but, you know, the rest were, were moved. And so, um, but yeah, we you always work with people. Oh, yeah. absolutely. But, yeah, the bottom line is safariglobaltravel.com, uh, Bob Dawson Insurance. He's good job, and you'll facilitate that. Oh, absolutely. For people. Absolutely. Yeah, all right. Let's good go ahead and jump back in the phones. You got it, man. Well, the phones are 100% packed up. Eddie and Vista is up next on Let's Talk Hookup. What's up, Eddie? Eddie, good morning. Thanks for joining us this morning on Let's Talk Hookup. Uh, good morning. What's up, Eddie? Rosie. Rosie. Pete. Hi. Ricky. Eddie's heading down this year. You're heading down in uh, June, aren't you? I am. I'm coming down on Pete's trip, and I want Pete to know I got my I got my team together. All right. Brother Dave, brother Dave and Cheer and I, we're going to... And Rosie says she got us the best captain. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they're all good. Yeah, they're, they are all good. Yeah. We're all really stoked about it. So uh, I got a, a question about the f- fish processing. Absolutely. Um, um, so is it is it similar to what we get in San Diego with the, with the fish meat processing at Five Star? Well, Eddie, you know me. You know me pretty well. I think I even delivered fish to your house one year. Oh, you, you did. You are so nice. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, you know what? I... Um, have grown to love fish processing and you know it's very high priority for me because for all of us anglers that actually like to eat our fish we want our fish processed pretty well so um, a couple of years ago we did build a new fish processing facility down there and I really hope you go up and check it out Um, everything is done just like we used to do down here in San Diego all the fish is filleted table ready uh, you should not have to cut any red line off of your yellow tail or any of the other fish that you catch. Everything will be vacuum sealed in approximately one to one and a half pound bags. And it is a commercial grade vacuum seal sealer. And um, all your fish will be labeled for species. And it will um, be frozen for you. Now, one thing that we did add last year, and it has proven to be um, very popular, is, you know, in the years past, we get three anglers on a boat. 
And most of the guys knew each other. Maybe some didn't. And, um, you know, as much as, you know, your neighbor loved going fishing with you, he caught a 55-pound white sea bass, and he didn't want to share it with you. So in the past, all the fish would be shared amongst the anglers on the ponga. Well, we devised a little bit of a system to where now, you know, each of your fish will be tagged for you. And um, at the end of the the day, so to speak, your fish is your fish. If you want to share it with uh, your friends or the people on the trip, well, that's up to you. Um, and uh, if you don't, you don't have to. Yeah. So. so if you look at that uh, that uh, YouTube uh, video that we posted this week from Cedro Sport Fishing last June's trip or July's trip that Tommy P. did, uh, you'll see the facility. They'll weigh your fish in that facility. You'll see the actual exactly. fish processing facility and all the how, how clean it is and uh, all the modern equipment that they have in there. So that's just one of the other features that that uh, that you have at Sedgwick. And we did. Even towards the end of the year, we felt the need to add, I don't know if you guys have ever been to any of the fish processing facilities in San Diego when they open their freezer or their cooler they have the um, the plastic curtains. Mm-hmm. We added those to our doors this year because we added an air conditioner to our fish processing facility, nice. not only to keep our guys nice and cool while they're working, but to keep your fish nice and cool while you're working. And those um, plastic air curtains keep every the cold in and the flies nice. out. And the flies yeah. out. Amazing. Right. Hey, it Eddie, is... look, look forward to the trip. Thanks a lot for the call this morning. Appreciate that. I was just going to say, it, it's very impressive product. Like, I mean, you, you, you just don't... You don't associate going somewhere in, you know, in Mexico and then coming home with such a professional yes. finished product that's included in your ticket price. You know, there's yep. you can go to East Cape Smokehouse and you can go to Fisherman's Processing. You can go to places and expect that as an afterthought, but it's very rare to go somewhere and have that level of fish care included in your ticket price. And we are the only um, lodge on Cedros Island that does, you know, put that into the the price of the trip, especially the vacuum pack with a commercial grade vacuum packer. We're the only ones on the island that have that. Yeah, that's cool. All I right. Like hey, phones are packed up. One line open right now. Just popped open. Not for long. 877-792-1090. <laughs> Adam and Murrieta is up next on Let's Talk Cook Up. Hi, Adam. Welcome to the show. Good morning, guys. Good morning, Rosie. How is everybody doing today? Great. What's up, Adam? Hey, Adam. I'm just going to repeat. Hi, Rosie. I'm just going to repeat what's already been said. Um, I think our our trip was extra special. We not only did we get VIP treatment the whole way, start to finish. Uh, like Jeff said, one of the hardest parts was not carrying my own stuff, not moving my own <laughs> stuff around. It, 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 that always feels strange, just having somebody um, take care of me like that. Um, but we also got like a grand tour of the whole south part of the island. Uh, we got to fish from different places where a lot of people don't normally get to go fishing. We got a great tour of the abalone and lobster place. We went over to the salt plant. We got we just had such a good trip. It, it felt like two weeks worth of stuff all crammed into one week. It was a it was a lot of fun, and um, you really are treated like a VIP. The people there are so cool, so amazing. Uh, we we loved it, and we are definitely coming back. All right on. That's Thank right. you so much, Adam. I appreciate that. Totally different experience than uh, anything else. You know, it's uh, you know we love long range fishing. Long range fishing is just phenomenal, and uh, it, it 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 takes you to places that you cannot go anywhere else. This is a totally different experience. Yep. Yeah, it's uh, totally different. We love Rancho Llanero. We love going to Rancho Llanero. This is a totally different experience. All the experiences are totally unique yeah. in themselves and if you haven't experienced this one you need to do that one of the thing one of the stories that i remember hearing from last year that i loved so much was there was a day i mean it's fishing and, and it's weather and we're fishing and we know it and, and uh, there was a day that weather was up and so the guys didn't go fishing on the boats and rather than just hanging out at the lodge you guys took them took them to like a, a remote part of the island that you wouldn't normally get to go to and fished from the beach and set up a barbecue and like People came back because they were, you know, there were guys that came through the tackle store that, you know, wanted me to help them put some gear together. And they came back to give the report, and it was like the highlight of their trip. So if that you put a barbecue could, on the beach, that's what I'm saying. Like the yeah, barbecue hot, lobster yeah. on the beach. Rick, that was us. That was yeah. Adam. That was, Adam. Adam was oh, on that trip. Yeah, the highlight of the trip is something that a lot of places would be 
you know, a, a downfall. I could be your day of not going to do it. And that was the coolest part of their trip. You know, talk about making lemonade. Like, it was, I just think that's so cool, you guys. You know, we the, the wind picked up, and it was, that was the only trip that they red flagged the harbor. Sure. That we, we couldn't go out of the harbor because of the wind. And Adam and Berta and, you know, all the others, they loaded them up in the truck, all the captains from the boat, Everyone pitched in. They found, you know, fishing off the rocks. We were, they were actually catching small white sea bass off of the rocks. That's so cool. Down there. <laughs> and, so you cool. know, you see Javier is, is uh, you know, barbecuing lobster and making sure that everyone's set up. And they made these packets of vegetables and fish and, like, these, you know. Um, the Boy Scout. The Boy Scout food, we used to food, call yeah. it. Yeah, where <laughs> everything was being steamed in those, uh, those packets packs. of fish. Very and it was cool. just awesome and and it was truly they made uh, lemonade out of their lemons and and adam i think you enjoyed that didn't you i really enjoyed that you know the captains could have taken a day off easy no fishing day off they could have stayed home with their family nope they spent the whole day sunrise to sunset That's rad. showing yeah. us around their island and they're they just did such a good job of it we really really Enjoyed it. That's the right family on. atmosphere at Sadles really, for Thanks, sure. Adam. Hey, thanks for the call. Appreciate that very much. Hey, when we come back, we got a lot more Let's Talk Hookup coming your way. More of your phone calls, more great information. You stay tuned. It's Let's Talk Hookup on the Mighty 1090. There is an undisclosed paradise waiting for you in your own backyard. It's the La Mision Hotel in beautiful Loreto, Baja, California. Experience one of the few towns that has truly kept the spirit of old Baja, combined with the luxury of a five-star hotel. Old mission traditions, authentic lifestyle, and a wealth of Mexican culture still lives at the La Mision Hotel. Situated on the water and just steps from the harbor, take advantage of the fantastic fishing and natural beauty of the Sea of Cortez and the islands of Loreto. Loretto. Loretto has long been known as the Dorado capital of the world, but huge tuna, wahoo, marlin, yellowtail, and pargo are abundant too. La Mision Hotel can set up affordable fishing trips, dive packages, and family fun adventures to enjoy the rich natural abundance of Loretto. La Mision also has a fantastic spa, fine dining at Los Olivos Restaurant, and the famous pizza grill will amaze and stimulate your palate. Relax, fish, and enjoy the beauty and adventure of Loretto at the La Mision Hotel. Fishing and other very affordable packages are available. Once you go, you're hooked. Check LaMisionLoretto.com for details. La Mision, the beauty and fun of Loretto is waiting for you. Hey, this is Jeff from Sedros Kayak Fishing. 2018 was a fantastic season on Sedros, and we are so jazzed for 2019. We are the only tour group serving Sedros that is now flying all of our trips conveniently from Southern California. Yep, you heard me right. SoCal. No more rod fees, no more overweight charges, no more parking fees, no more border weights. Just a nice private charter flight down to the island where we will have you fishing that day. That's right. We arrive at Sedros by 10 a.m., so be prepared to fish hard that first day. Yep, all included here at Sedros Kayak Fishing. Don't want Want to fish from a kayak? No problem, as we have also added a brand new custom 28-foot Super Ponga to our lineup to accommodate our growing demand to provide Ponga trips. We are the small group specialists. If you are looking for a more custom-style trip with a personal feel, Sedros Kayak Fishing is your spot. Visit our website at www.sedroskayakfishing.com or just give me a call at 760-412-2507 to secure your spot. Oh, speaking of Cedros, uh, Cedros kayak fishing, Cedros sport fishing, whether it be either one, you got to take the right gear down, and Shimano has the gear. What would it be, Ricky? I think the Tranks was designed for what we do down there, whether it be calico Absolutely. bass or yellowtail. I mean, you couldn't put pen and paper together and draw up a better reel than the Tranks. And I'm talking the whole line. The whole line. The, the three, the four, the five all have their place at Cedros, from swim baits to weedless baits to big jerk baits to fishing surface iron and yo-yo jig. That Tranks has got you covered. Yeah, you match that up with a Terramar rod, you know. The, what, what, what do you think? The 90H for the uh, surface iron and the 500, Tranks 500? We do a 90H for your 500. I do an 80H for your Tranks 400 and an 80MH for your 300. And that would literally, those three rods could cover everything you do on a Cedro strip. That's all you need. Yeah. That's it. Tranks and Terramar from your local Shimano dealer. Get set up right at your local Shimano dealer. 
This is Captain Tim Ekstrom from the Long Range Vessel Royal Star. With my partners Randy Toussaint and Brian Sims, we have set the bar for the Long Range Fishing Experience. A spring 8-day, summer 5-day, or a fly-down, fly-back, 11-day winter trip, we deliver the highest quality Long Range Voyage you will find. From our premium RSW fish storage to our top-of-the-line chefs and crew, Royal Star distinguishes itself from all others. Want to grab a spot on the Royal Star? Check us out at royalstarsportfishing.com or call Tracy at 619-224-4764. XFRS 1090 AM Rosarito, Baja California. San Diego Sports Leader, the home of ESPN Radio, the mighty 1090. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup on the Mighty 1090. As promised, it's time to find out what's biting out there. It is time for the Catch Report, which today is sponsored by the Fish Pros of Fisherman's Processing in San Diego. Not only do they offer the best processing for your fish when your trip returns to the San Diego landings, now with Fish Pros to market, you can purchase fresh fish, smoked and jerkied fish, spices, rubs, smoked cheese, and their famous tuna burgers at their convenient Liberty Station location, or you can order online at fishermansprocessing.com. We're going to start it off up at Dana War Sport Fishing. Talk to the man, Captain Brian Woolley's on the line. What's up, Woolley? Hey, good morning, guys. Good morning, good morning Brian. Good morning. Good stuff in there this morning, man. Makes me want to hop on a plane and get down there. You and me Heck both. Yeah, yeah. let's go. It's kind of on my toes. <laughs> I know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to figure this out and how to get down there one of these times. <laughs> you super do. Fun. Well, hey, it's, for us up here, you know, another good fishing week with some stuff that, you know, we typically see this time of year and then some stuff that, we don't normally see this time of year up here. As as far as the usual stuff goes, I'll tell you, you know, we've had some very good sculpin fishing this last week. Obviously, with all that rock fish and stuff out of play for the time being, you know, we're we're spending some time catching that sculpin. It's been uh, it's been pretty darn good, you know. Five fish. If you want to take your five fish limit home, it really hasn't been a problem. Some of the uh, setups that have been standing out for our guys this week has been a uh, like a five inch viejo swim bait fished on a dropper loop. That's been uh, been really good it, it keeps the rockfish out of play you know for whatever reason the rockfish aren't jumping on that because maybe it's a little bit too big but those aggressive sculpting have been all over that that swim bait and as far as unusual you know even with this cooler water we've been seeing like 59 degrees 57 degrees kind of in that range we've got some shots at some yellowtail yesterday uh, even in that funky southeast you know the beginning of that front captain bo daniels is on our uh, little charter boat the uh, san mateo on a morning half-day trip, got off the beach a little bit, found a kelp, and ended up with 17 yellow kelp for his uh, his little group of two anglers. Definitely a good sign. You know, that fish was that smaller kelp grade, that five- to eight-pound stuff. But, hey, for January, what he said he saw in that kelp was, was amazing. He said just hundreds of fish on that one kelp. So we'll see what happens, uh, you know, this next week. Obviously, uh, we'll see what the weather does for us and helps us out out there. But certainly a good sign. You know, we've seen a little bit of yellow kelp even out in the uh, deep water where we finished our, our year uh, catching that rock fish, and it's in the in that deep water, too. So we'll see what, what happens there. As far as the halibut goes, pretty much the same as the last couple weeks. No lead change. and still seeing a fish or two on each of those trips. Things have been a bit slow, I'll tell you, on those halibut trips, but I will tell you the amount of bait that has moved into the beach inside, like, 30, 40 fathoms has been amazing. So it's a good sign for those guys out there drifting, seeing the bait in the right spots. We'll, uh, pull some of that halibut in, and hopefully they get a shot at some of that stuff. Yeah, no, wanna... no kidding, man. There's some good, uh, amazing stuff, right? Yeah, no, definitely. You know, sometimes this wind helps, too. You know, it mixes stuff up, and it gets that bait into those those right zones. So we'll see what happens if uh, we finish it out. You guys want to call the landing, make reservation this time of year? Not to save a spot, but it certainly helps to give us a good idea of what we have to look at for getting people out. We've been getting out every day, so it's it's been a good deal. Our number here is 949 949- Four nine six five seven nine four. Of course, you can check us out on the web too at danawarf.com. And this uh, this month, you guys want to use the code Dana D A N A. That'll save you twenty five percent on one of these local half or three quarter day trips if you want to hop on a boat with us. What a deal! Twenty five percent off. Just put the code when you check out at Dana and twenty five percent off half and three quarter day trips. Now, you guys are running any bluefin trips this time of the year? Yeah, right. I know, crazy, right? <laughs> Seeing that stuff, man. I saw that stuff in two hundred feet of water the other day coming home, mixed in with the dolphin. It was just, it was crazy. You man. saw it? You can see it up, thin in with the dolphin. Yeah, I was in in uh, in some small mackerel that they had balled up on the surface. Amazing. This is so crazy. Okay. What's going on right now? I mean, from halibut drift tri- halibut drift trips and offshore yellows and offshore bluefin. It's a it's a pretty wild January. It's pretty cool. Certainly one for the record books. Yeah, as far as you know, 
stuff that we don't normally see this time of year, no doubt about yeah. it. Yeah. Hey, uh, off off the subject of fishing for a second, but the whales, of course, is prime time for whales. Are you seeing whales this time of the year? You know, the whale watching has been really good. You know, that bait that was on the outside kind of starting to trickle into the inside, but they've seen a lot of humpback whales, which is, you know, really? a little wow. admirable for us That's again cool. this time of year, too. So. The whale watch in the last two weeks was, like, as good as it gets as far as seeing something super cool out there. Wow. And, of course, we're at the, the very beginning of that gray whale migration. So those guys got, you know, plenty of that to look forward to here as we uh, roll through the month as well. Yeah, no kidding. That's cool. Well, Dana Wharf Sport Fishing, always a great place to go. Thanks a lot, Captain Brian Willie. We'll talk to you next week. Sounds good, guys. Thanks. All, All right. right. Well, that's going to wrap up our catch report. Well, we're hoping to hear from Gundy a little bit later on. But, again, that catch report is sponsored by Terrafin Sea Surface Temperature Charts. Focus your offshore fishing in the most productive areas by using Terrafin. And now with Terrafin Mobile, you can take it with you on your iPad, your iPhone, or your Android device. Just download the latest chart before you leave, and all the information is right there for you. Check Terrafin.com for more information. Indeed. Let's go ahead and jump back into those jam-packed phones. Sounds hey, good to me. Uh, we're giving away a AFCO Horizon Fleece jacket, great jacket, along with a hat and a shirt from Sedro Sport Fishing. Sweet deal. To one lucky caller. Yeah, no doubt. Maybe that call, lucky call will be Paul, who's calling some bellflower this morning. Good morning, Paul. Welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. Good morning. Happy New Year, everyone. Same you too, Paul. Happy New Year. Awesome. Okay, my question for Rosie is, what is there uh, to do for women that don't like to go fishing but want to hang out with their husband? Fish. Uh, no. <laughs> Teach them to well, fish. Well, true. Learn to love to true. fish. You know, that that is the charm of our island, okay? So, you know, there's not a, I don't want to say there's not a lot to do down there but fish, but there's not a lot to do down there but fish. You yeah. know, there, there's, there's no movie theaters. Um, you know, they might be able to get their nails done. They might be able to go get a massage. Um, you know, we have a beautiful deck overlooking the Pacific Ocean if they want to, you know, enjoy a book or some magazines, that type of thing. Uh, they also, um, they do have some workout classes, some Zumba classes on the island, or if they want to go check out the Lobster and Abalone Co-op, uh, Richard would be more than happy to take them to do that. But it is, um, you know, a beautiful little lodge down there on the island. Sit back, enjoy the view, read a book. Um, and, and that's the tortilla factory. Oh, oh my God. God the yeah. tortilla <laughs> factory. Yeah. There's yes. no, but there's honestly, there's not a lot to do. There's not a lot to do. Yeah. I mean, you can take walks it's on the small beach. community. Yeah. It's a very small, small community. One thing that I'll say though, that's nice about it is, you know, especially if, if you are going with a group of three or the two of you are in your boat, whatever is you can make the day how you want the day to be. So if she's not a hardcore fisher person that wants to be on the water from sun up to sundown, if you wanted the, the areas surrounding Cedros are often very calm and you're doing your fishing inshore. So, I mean, if you wanted to go out and fish for a few hours and come back early or come back so we can use the bathroom or whatever, the, the trip is yours. Yeah. You know, they'll, it will be very as highly accommodated. As long as you're third person or you can, or you can charter the boat yourself you can if you want to pay extra you can have a two exactly boat, right? yeah you can, if you want to pay extra you can put two on the boat or even one on the boat we had one angler last year he goes i just want a boat to myself and it was like all righty then yeah you know, we, 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 we can do that pay extra yeah, yeah we can do that. for sure so but the basic package is three per boat three per ponga and that's why we have the super pongas 27 to 33 feet yeah and uh I, I always try to recommend all my buds because, you know, I love Cedro sport fishing. I've been down there a bunch, and it's one of my most favorite places to go. And I, I talk to people about it all the time. I highly recommend you getting a group of three buddies together. It just makes it easier. If, if you're Affordable, cra- easy. Yeah. If you're crazy about calico bass fishing and you, that's what you want to focus on, it's it's almost not fair to yourself or the other guy. If, if the third person on your group, he really wants to just fish yellow. It just makes life so much easier. If, if you man, all agree. Yeah, exactly. Three, three like-minded doing. people. So, yeah, you know, for, sure. for us, we go in the morning. We usually try to get our yellowtail in the morning. And, uh, and then we fish calico bass all afternoon. Yeah. Like, I, I would have no problem bass fishing all, all day. day long. Yeah. And, and, and you know, some people would say, what, are you crazy? I want to fish yellows all day long. And, I, I you know, I, I, I get it. So it's just nice having a group of three buds that all want to do the same thing. No doubt about it. Hey, thanks a lot for the phone call this morning. Let's continue our catch report. Gundy Gunderson, surf guru extraordinaire, is on the line. Good morning, Gundy. Hey, Gundy. Hey, guys. Hey, can you land that boat and surf fish on that island? <laughs> Why not? It's surf fishing paradise for you down there, Gundy. Exactly. It'll be, 
I don't know what you do when you hang a 50-pound yellow with your feet on terra firma, you know what I mean? <laughs> Could happen. Yeah, you hang, exactly. hang on. Hang on. Yeah, you hang on, exactly. <laughs> I've seen some big fish in shallow water at that place. Oh, and we oh, got yeah. a we had a fifty pound yellowtail in six feet of water yes or last year. Last year, yeah. Last Easy. Year. That is cool stuff. Well, d- despite the weather, we still have a we had some good fishing going on this week and I gotta remind everyone, we still have sixty degree water, you know, which is really rare for January, you know. So some of the species that you'd see in that little warmer water are still active. So, uh, of course, the weather was a problem. Early in the week, most of the good catches were made. Hook, line, sinker reported a solid bite on barred perch. Grubs, gulp baits, mussel have been the top offerings there. Consistently, East Beach, Carpinteria, and then that Santa Claus Lane has been real solid, and that's a notorious spot for big fish. They had, uh, I think, a two-pound, one-ounce was the best fish this week. A few halibut also taken in and around the harbor on small swim baits. Wiley's reported several legal halibut, and it's kind of on the northern front. There was some good halibut in the surf, and then it seems like on the southern front that halibut's moving out deeper. It was a little bit of a struggle, but they had good fishing up there. One angler stuck a 30-inch, 24-inch fish, uh, slow rolling, a 5-8-ounce blue mac crocodile at Will Rogers Beach. And those little crocs can be really good this time of year. Another angler took a legal halibut and a white sea bass on a metallic sardine flash minnow. And he was he was fishing along Malibu there. Magoo's been the top spot for barred perch up there, fish to two pounds on cut anchovy. Just fishing reported good perch action in that South Bay area, Torrance and Manhattan were the top beaches. A lot of grubbers there using the motor oil, root beer grubs, taking fish to one and three quarter pounds. Big fish and seal beach reported several legal halibut taken along that shoreline drive. Cherry Beach area when the bait gets in there, that's always a good area. White fluke baits were tops there. A few smaller white sea bass also in the mix. Hogan's and Dana Point reported good bites. Barred perch, one and a half pounders were the better models. Yellowfin croaker to three pounds in the mix. That Doheny area has been really good. And then the Pier State Park, that stretch along there has been also good. Lugworms, bloodworms, the best bait. And then finally, uh, in Dana Point there, one of the guys was shark fishing at Doheny. And he uh, he landed two hammerhead sharks. And this is really uh, interesting. They were juvenile fish. One was two and a half foot, and the other was four foot. You know, I know we've seen hammerheads around Pete in the hotter water, but that's a you know that's a real strange one. Uh, I, I can't say I've heard of that. Yeah, that, yeah, that, that is you know, surf. Odd. That's wild. Yeah, that's <laughs> very odd. Well, that's cool, Gundy Gunderson, surf guru extraordinaire. A lot of surf fishing this time of the year. Get yeah. on it. That's it. That's All right. it. Get out there, you get an hour in or something, and then go to work with a smile on your face. Yeah, <laughs> well All said, right. Gundy. Buddy, thanks All a lot right. for that, and have we will good, talk to you next week. Have a good week. Great show. I love hearing right. it. Thank you, Gundy. All right. Well, hey, as a reminder, Bill Varney's 2019 CCA Sport Fishing Tide Calendar is now available. There's great pictures. It includes all the tides and moon phases, important dates, fishing trips, and so much more. In addition, you have a chance to win a prize each month and help support CCA by purchasing this 2019 calendar at your local tackle stores, landings, Turner's Outdoorsman, or online at surffishtackle.com. Phones are packed up. Let's jump back into them and talk to Andy, calling us from San Diego. Eagle this morning. What's up, Andy? Welcome to the show. Hey, good morning, guys. How's hey, Andy. Morning. Hey, I just wanted to say I've been out of San Francisco a couple times and uh, had a great time down there. Everything everybody's saying is absolutely true, and I just want to remind people that it's a pretty epic opportunity to fly fish if you're into fly fishing. Is it? Absolutely. Fly fish for, like, with I, Jeff. Yeah, I wouldn't have, I was going to say, <laughs> Jeff's the only guy I know that's crazy enough to go fly fishing down there. Oh, Andy is just as crazy. <laughs> you know, it, yeah, it's... Yeah, I've yellowtail, calico ballast. You bring a nine with a 12-weight, works real well. Really? That's awesome. Is that what you yeah. fish, a 12-weight down there? Yeah, 12-weight, because, you know, you're fishing for calicos, you never know when you get that white sea bass or a yellowtail come through. So sure. a nine-weight will work, but we don't want to get owned on a nine-weight with on there. Are you yeah. using but, uh, a sinking line? Yeah, sinking line or floating line, kind of help. You can just kind of roll cast into the holes or cast out there, but sinking line for the yellowtail. Nice. That's really cool. Yeah, we were we had uh, four of us on a boat. We just had a chance to break away, and, and Andy had come down to help me out with some stuff at the lodge, and uh, he brought his fly rod, and then I was chuckling. Uh, there were three of us hooked up on flat falls with yellowtail, and he's in the back of the boat stripping line out like mad, and quietly says, uh, 
Uh, I got one. <laughs> I got one. Ah, that's rad. And uh, half an hour later, he put a 20-pounder on the boat. No kidding. Yeah, it was it was pretty awesome. So uh, I had fly fished down there before for bass. A lot of fun. Um, you learn a lot. It's tight. You know, you you, you learn the conditions. You're sure. really paying attention. But uh, for those fly fishermen that want to come on down, it does happen, and it happens well. We we catch a lot of fish down there on a fly rod. That is cool. What's your biggest yellow and biggest calico down there on a fly rod, Andy? I'd say the biggest calico is about a four-pounder. Uh, biggest yellow tail is about, about that 20-pounder, 20 25-pounder. Wow. The nice thing is you can get the guides. You bring a jig stick with a tatty on there with no hooks and have the guides kind of bring them in closer, too. So that kind of helps. Ah, oh, tease them in. That is so <laughs> cool. What yeah. a cool way to do it. Awesome? Secrets out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Andy, thanks. Yeah, you'll have to put together a fly fishing only group. Hey, huh? so Andy, what's the largest marlin you've caught on your uh, fly? Oh, about, we were on the Shogun recently and got about a 100, 125 pounder. It was pretty fun. On a fly. That's awesome. On a fly rod. Wow. Yeah, that's a 16 weight, though. <laughs> yeah, that's a big one. <laughs> Good ride. for you. Yeah. Right Good on. For you. Andy, great. Great news. So, uh, fly fishermen. Yeah, come on down. Great yeah, it opens up a whole new, you know, thing there. It's like yeah. guys that like to fly fish, lots of records to be had down at Cedros on your fly rods, on your yeah. fly sets. Yeah, I'd like okay. to get out to Benitos. There, exactly. Yeah, exactly. We'll get some Wahoo next year on your fly. <laughs> there you go. Andy, right, thanks, thanks, Andy. thanks a lot for the call this morning. Hey, when we come back, we got another full hour coming your way. Lots more of your questions, lots more great information, and a lot more of your phone calls. You stay tuned. It's Let's Talk Hookup on the Mighty 1090. It's back. The Big Bay Bass Tournament and Data Landing in Mission Bay will host the 7th Annual Ultimate Bay Bass Seminar and Sales Sunday, January 27th. It all starts with a live Let's Talk Hookup broadcast at 7, followed by the ultimate panel discussion next door at Bass Lane Kayaks with Benny Florentino, Afron Abutin, Corey Sandin, and Matt Moyer. Learn the best techniques for catching fish in the bay. Get free lunch from Traeger Grills. Plus, almost everything will be on sale at Dana Landing. We're talking big discounts on the tackle you you need from all the top manufacturers. Over 20 different tackle representatives and vendors will be on hand to answer your questions. From fishermen's processing to pure fishing, Seeker, Phoenix, Daiwa, Salty Crew, Cedros Kayak Fishing, and more. Sign up for CCA at the Data Landing event and receive a $40 gift card. It's one day only, Sunday, January 27th, and only at Dana Landing, right across from SeaWorld, next to the Dana Launch Ramp in Mission Bay. Pete here to tell you about our friends Jim and Mary and their incredible crew at Poway Valley Collision. I hear it all the time. Hey, I took my car to Poway Valley Collision, and you were right. Mentioned you guys, and they gave us the VIP treatment, fixed our car, and even gave us a special price. Believe me when I say Poway Valley Collision is worth the drive from anywhere in the Southland. We know you may not need them now, but when accidents happen, it pays to go to Poway Valley Collision. And I'm not fooling. Our listeners can save hundreds of dollars on your car or truck repair. They work with most insurance Insurance companies including Auto Club, MetLife, and Wawanisa, and more. All you do is call Jim, Mary, or any of their team members, and they do all the rest. No hassles, just top-notch work and VIP treatment. I had my car repaired at Poway Valley Collision, and the job was perfect. So get your vehicle fixed right at Poway Valley Collision, 14211 Garden Road in Poway. Check PowayValleyCollision.com. This is Captain Mark Rayer for Genren Sport Fishing. Located on the Sea of Cortez, we will show you a fishing experience that will exceed Exceed your expectations. Genren boats are outfitted with all accurate reels from the smallest Valiant 300 to the beefy ATDs. Simrad Electronics, Fraser Gyro Binoculars, and crews with a passion to fish is just part of what makes us number one. Also, Cabo Yachts Vicara has a sea keeper for your comfort. For two live webcams and up-to-date fish report, accommodation packages, check out TeamGenren.com. We pick up at Rancho Leonero and all East Cape locations. So let's go fishing. Baja California. San Diego Sports Leader. The home of ESPN Radio. The Mighty 1090. Here's John Ireland for Rancho Leonero. The main emphasis on the ranch, we're going to keep it old style. We're not going to change anything. We're just going to improve what we have. The kitchen is brand new. Brand new kitchen this year. We're all new uh, kitchen equipment, new stoves, ovens. We put a new freezer in. We've put in uh, all brand new split air conditioners with thermostats to make sure every room is cold. We've also worked on the boat fleet with a couple large lures, a 31 and a 34. We've got the uh, largest Superponga fleet on the East Cape, all with brand new Yamaha 
Baja Motors. Brand new beds, we've got all Serta beds, the best beds in Baja, I kid you not. We're working all the time at the ranch, we're not changing it, just making it a lot better. That's why we get the high trip advisor reviews. It's my responsibility, I gotta take care of you. I'll personally guarantee your best fishing experience and vacation at Rancho Leonero. RanchoLeonero.com. Our new reservation phone number is 800-646-2252, 646-Baja. We all need to get around, but we all need something different from our vehicles. Your San Diego County Ford dealers have you covered if you're looking for a new truck this month. Plus, it's SUV season, so they have great deals for everyone. Whether it's a new Echo Sport that is nimble and fun around town, or the Ford Explorer that is capable of putting a boat in the water and has seating for seven, Ford has you covered. Ford trucks and SUVs aren't just powerful and legendary. They have the latest technology that helps you seamlessly connect your smartphone and ensure you're safe on the road. Features like Pro Trailer Backup Assist on trucks are truly a game changer at the ramp, helping you back up a trailer by simply turning a knob on the dash and doing the hard work for you. So check out all the great deals during SUV season and save some money on the right gear for you. Learn more at buyfordnow.com or visit your San Diego County Ford dealers today. They'll be glad to hook you up. This is Pete Gray to tell you about one of my favorite places to fish in the world. It's Whaler's Cove Lodge in Angoon, Alaska. For several years now, we've been hosting groups at Whaler's Cove, and this is certainly one trip I do not miss. Each year, the Powers family makes great improvements to the lodge that make this great lodge even better. New rooms, new boats, new fish processing facilities, new outdoor kitchen. The list goes on and on. As for fishing, the calm waters around Whaler's Cove are 100 miles from any large town, so you will enjoy wilderness adventure without the crowds. Whaler's Cove Lodge has some of the best salt and freshwater fishing in Alaska, and there's no need for a bumpy boat ride for hours. You can find productive fishing for salmon, halibut, and rockfish just 10 minutes from the lodge. Here's the deal. The word is out on Whaler's Cove, so you want to go? Book soon. Whalerscovelodge.com or call 800-423-3123. Whalerscovelodge.com for the Alaska fishing experience of a lifetime. 